This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of a new house, and this is going to be the opening from now on. But okay, so today I'm going to retrieve the leaf Frankenstein. He's still over at Arnabru, so I moved pretty much everything over in the new house now. Actually, yeah, it is everything. <laughs> yeah, all in now. So, um, I'm doing now a little uh, rescue mission. I was over there at Arnhem earlier today. And uh, yeah, so I prepared now for the, the move. So let's see. So I actually have to leave this car here because it's uh, late in the... Oh man. Yeah, there is so much stuff here. There's some of the stuff we need to sell them. Yeah, uh, but anyway, yeah, trailers here. I need to get the moisture out. I also, um, yeah, there's some moisture in here. <laughs> uh, Demoisturizer or what they call a dehumidifier. Yeah. So um, there is actually a slight slope now towards the, the, the entrance. And also we have heater. Well, it's been open for a while, but it stays now at around seven, eight degrees Celsius. I don't want it to be too hot because actually if it's too hot in here, then stuff might melt too fast. I want it to melt at an okay pace, but okay. Anyway, yeah, in order to retrieve, um, the Frankenstein, I will just, just in case now, I'll bring EcoFlow and the rescue pack. And then also have to go to Ikea to uh, return some items that didn't fit. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get ready now. It's uh, a little bit late in the evening, but uh, I prefer driving at night when we have less traffic. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the ID4 GTX, by the way, works wonderful. It's been a great workhorse while I did the moving back and forth and it has trailer hitch. So I've been reusing it to pull the trailer. And unlike, what's again? Yeah, x G9 I tried recently. That one, when you pull a trailer, you cannot use cruise control. This one, you can use cruise control. So that's a, a must have. But all right, so yeah, um, let's get over to Arnabru then. Okay, we have nice weather tonight. This is why I chose tonight because in the following days now it's going to uh, snow a lot. <laughs> Um, yeah, for several days. So then I don't want to uh, deal with this. So yeah, it's uh, winter now. Yeah, we're now at Allenbrug, and here's Frankenstein. I loaded up all the equipment in him, and then uh, I'm leaving a GTX here. So yeah, why didn't I just take a taxi here and then bring him back in the first place? Well, I had to. I had to carry some stuff over here. And also, yeah, I need to go back to the old house and do some stuff there. Uh, so that's why uh, I don't want to carry a bunch of stuff <laughs> in the taxi. So yeah, that's why we're here. But okay, so it's cold outside. You see, it, it's snowy and icy. So leaves by reports as minus 1.5 degrees Celsius. I drove it a little bit today when I returned um, um, it was the x G9. Then it was at minus two degrees Celsius. It was charging dog slow even on fast charger. So right now we're just gonna preheat a little bit. Um, and then I will also plug it in, but okay. So wait, what, what, what am I looking at there? Um, yeah, we had to travel some distance. Wait, can I, can I do this? No, kind of. Let's see, that's cleavage. Wow, this ancient system. Okay, can we zoom in? There. <laughs> okay, like that. Okay, map menu, new destination. Okay, roughly there. How far away are we? Couldn't find, what the? Okay, whatever, it says 29 kilometers. Yeah, that sounds uh, plausible. We have 42 kilometers of range, should be fine, right? Yeah, except for that the battery is freezing cold. <laughs> so we're gonna see, but uh, yes, um, let's uh, do the house stuff first. Okay, that was really weird because uh, for the first time I had to uh, ring the bell here. <laughs> yeah, so it's been my home for seven years, but now uh, new guys have moved in here. I had to help them set uh, some sound settings on the Yale doorman. And uh, yeah, meanwhile, I've been charging here. So we want an ABC, but okay. So yeah, the reason why I plug it here outside and not in the trunk is because it's a bit uh, clumsy, you know? Yeah, sometimes maybe, why why wondering? Why do, don't I plug it in? But because you see here, we have Shuko in the back here, but we have to connect to, and then we have um, 
the master slave battery here connected on the side and then also in the front you have display so it's convenient to just have it outside here rather than inside the trunk but okay so i just want abc yeah i could hook up hook up over there and plug it in or in the garage but uh, the thing is that it's not mine anymore over there also it's not mine anymore the money has been transferred and yeah new owner is there <laughs> so now i just have to finalize this it's actually almost the last yeah we are just finalizing the last bit of uh, my belongings over here it's this one and well technically not my over there the gtx is over there that's marcus bill's car you can actually rent it for only nine thousand nook per month but okay so this is what happens um the ptc heater is pulling 1.75 kilowatt and then we are getting only one kilowatt into i ah, know it's a little bit delayed um yeah we're getting around 600 watt so we have 8.9 kilowatt hour, uh, but the scary part is that the battery is so cold. So you'll want to discharge too fast. What happened uh, a, a week ago or something is that um, uh, after I returned the uh, Honda, um, the battery was also quite cold and I drove from, uh, I can show you guys maybe on the map, it's easier to understand what's going on. Wow, this ancient system, man. Holy crap, there, there, there. So it was parked at Drammen for a long time, a week, right? And then when I pick up, it was three degrees Celsius. I drove over here and then we have some hills here, Liebakene. Uh, maybe not, um, it's not like grape wine, but at least some long hills with Norway. So I was hammering up here, uh, discharging around uh, 45, not 48 kilowatt. That's over two, no, that's roughly 2C. Well, actually, is it 2C anymore? Maybe more than 2C. And then up the hill here, I saw here that the kilowatt hour dropped like a rock. Uh, it was dropping in roughly one kilowatt hour chunk, 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 chunk. I was like, chunk, 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 chunk. so when when I was up the hill there, I exited towards Liertop and Schöpersente. And then when I slowed down a little bit, I noticed that the kilowatt hour has suddenly went up again. So I was like, okay, I have to take it easy. <laughs> the car with cold battery doesn't like being discharged too fast. So that's why we have to be careful now. And I don't know what the heck's gonna happen if the car shuts down. So that's why we have the EcoFlow as a backup. Maybe we can charge it up. Maybe we just let the car rest a little bit. But uh, yeah, just having EcoFlow and having this, the, the safety equipment plus the 12 volt uh, charger is um, uh, nice. But we have 14 volt. This battery, by the way, this 12 volt battery should be in good shape. So yeah, um, let's uh, unplug and go. <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna show you a trick here. You see that when I'm preheating, pre um, I have set fan speed to two, 21 degrees Celsius, but I use recirculation. You wanna always be recirculating when you do this because then it's pulling only 1.7. Yeah, so if you do something like this, auto, it then pulls from outside, the fan speed goes up. And then the heater here should also increase. Uh, it's going to be a little bit warmer in here, of course, but uh, yeah, we just want to have a little, uh, they call it lunk. Call it lunk motor. Okay, but okay. Let's stop digging around. Let's go. And then how do you stop charging on the leaf? It has type one. You just do this. Oh, smell of fireworks. <laughs> type one should be banned. I can't imagine any country being stupid enough to use Taiwan. Okay, anyway, let's uh, <clears throat> pack and leave. Oh man, welcome to Salzschmutzfest. Oh, can I clean that shit? Kind of. Oh, look at that, 10 year old leaf. Wipers work better than Tesla. <laughs> shit. Okay, this is the scary part. We have to go uphill, Chesmokosha. Okay. I mean, 5.4 kilowatt hour is no problem. Uh, 21 kilowatt discharge, okay. No problem now, uh, as long as we don't suddenly lose a bunch of kilowatt hour. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, well, it seems like uh, pulling 20 kilowatt uphill is safe. I'm cruising at around 90 kilometers per hour GPS speed now. Okay, okay, because this is also learning by doing. I have to know this because eventually I need to use Frankenstein well, until I sell him. Maybe a couple of trips uh, downtown to pick up some press cars. Uh, soon I have to borrow uh, a Hyundai Kona, the new one. 
So that one should work. Yeah, also need to make videos about this, <laughs> the life of leaf owners. But you see here, temperature is rising fast now as we drive. Uh, it means that, um, I mean, it gets heat from somewhere, right? Well, from the battery itself. Uh, when the battery is cold, we have higher internal resistance, which means that when you discharge it, you will then uh, heat up the battery. Uh, or in other words, you have more losses when the battery is cold. So ideally, you would want to have the battery starting at 25 degrees Celsius, for example, or 20 degrees Celsius. So lost, uh, by heating at this battery means that we have less energy for propulsion or heating at the cabin even. So um, yeah, I don't want to go too deep. Um, want to bail out in time, but also uh, I, want, I need to go deep-ish because uh, otherwise we'll charge slow. We are now at Soka K Bygate topping up. I don't want to take any chances. I had around four kilowatt hour and it was dropping fast. Oh, we get 27 kilowatt. Oh, that is so much better. Earlier today, no yoke, when the battery was at minus two degrees Celsius, I drove a little bit uh, around Allenbru. And then around, I think it was around zero degrees Celsius, but 60% or something. I was getting only seven, no, no, three kilowatt. It only wanted to take three kilowatt. Uh, this is heaven if I can get 25 kilowatt uh, for at least a couple of minutes. Oh shit, shit, it's foggy. I need to fire up the car. Okay, this will steal a little bit of power from the battery, but yeah, this is no problem, man. 22 kilowatt. Uh, we can just pump it up now so I get enough juice to go to um, Yesheim. But yeah, okay, so yeah, I need to. Uh, yeah, I. It's a nice site, by the way. Lots of hyper hyperchargers. And we have this one. It looks like the old uh, ABB charger is actually 180 kilowatt. So very nice. Yeah, and then I need to make the staged uh, thumbnail. Let me see, how is this again? Remember, wait. Like this way, have a live here. Remember the agony of owning an EV. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a couple of minutes here, then we should be good. Man, this is the problem with leaf, you see. Now we're getting 14 kilowatt, and then the heater takes four kilowatt. Um, but it doesn't just pull extra power uh, for, uh, for uh, charging. I'm gonna show you something here. If we stop HVAC, okay, we take a battery getting 13, 14 kilowatt. Look what happens now. Okay, that one stops. And then, no, I should, it's, it's already uh, derating. Uh, yeah, it's already slow. No, 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 look, 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 look. Now it's only charging faster. Yeah, 16 kilowatt now. So why is this happening? We have plenty of power, obviously. We have 180 kilowatts. Um, the leaf is not very smart. So it will, um, the BMS dictates that you can only take 16 kilowatt right now. And then if you run the heater, wait, 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 if I do this, if you run the heater, the heater will steal what is supposed to go into the battery. It doesn't simply just pull four kilowatt extra, so it pulls eight, so it pulls 18 uh, kilowatt from the charger. No, then you're charging slower. <laughs> Fortunately, most other EVs, they don't work like this, but I've seen a couple of cases where even modern EVs, they also work like this, which is uh, niche good. All right, we're on the move again. So um, we have around six kilowatt hour left now, and we have to go only 15 kilometers. So right now we can just hammer it. <laughs> yeah, wait, let's see. Okay, okay. Yeah, as long as the weather is uh, good enough, then uh, let's go schnell, go schnell. Wait, I wonder if I, if I can provoke that uh, problem. Wait, do we have unbalanced wheel? Shit, yep, I think we have. Uh, probably snow and ice, uh, uh, stuck on it. So uh, once we put it in the heated and insulated garage with waterborne heater, <laughs> at yes, same uh, everything will uh, melt and dry out, and it'll be fine. Okay, how is the stuff going on now? Oh shit! Yeah, the uh, fun fact, uh, you know, uh, in the car you have uh, two different settings. We have drive mode D, then the heater here goes at higher kilowatt, but then if we put it in eco mode. Uh, then you have more region, but then uh, the heater seems to be in more of a stingy mode. So, yeah, I tend to use uh, eco mode since uh, it has more region. 
but then sometimes I even switch to D mode to get uh, better heating. Oh she, we have no indicated range left. It's just blinking. Battery level is low, but we are finally here. Oh yes. Oh. Um, okay, we have supposedly 1.9 kilowatt hour left. You know, in summer, it might shut down with 0.3 kilowatt hour left, but uh, if it's cold, then it, it might actually shut down before that. Maybe I should uh, do a zero mile test um, uh, with cold battery to see what happens. Okay, now I need to back. No, 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 no. Yeah, I want to back up. Okay, back up into the garage. All right. Okay, we're charging now. All good. Yeah, taking three kilowatts. Doesn't matter. We're going to be sitting here in the garage. So, um, you know, because I mentioned this is an insulated garage. So I have a thermal camera here. It costs a lot extra to get them insulated. Eventually, I'm also going to paint this white so it looks even nicer. Oh yeah, we also have extra storage there in a uh, uh, loft, whatever they call it. But okay, so if you look through the thermal camera now, you see that um, the walls actually keep around... Uh, what is, that? is that calibrated? Yeah, 8.8 .8 degrees Celsius. Well, what was... Okay, that was the EcoFlow firing up. Yeah, you see that EcoFlow... Wait, does it need cooling? What? Huh, apparently uh, so. Okay, so it's cooling down. Wait, the floor... Oh, yeah, of course. The floor is heated. So let's see. What temperature is the floor in? Oh, 11 degrees Celsius. Yeah, don't want to fire it too much because you would then have some insane um, uh, energy consumption. But yeah, 12.7 degrees there. Wow, this is, this is luxury, man. This is the man's wet dream. Okay. Nine degrees there. What about the, uh, the ceiling here? Yeah, 10. So you see, the whole, cam uh, the whole um, garage now holds around 10 degrees. It, this one reports 6.8 degrees. I've set it to... Let me see. No, I set it to 9 degrees. I think it was 8 earlier. So, um, yeah, but also I want to show you this one. This one is metal. I'm not sure if you can get any good measurement. But also the garage door. Yeah, okay, I think we get some measurement here. Let me go a little bit back here, as you can see. The garage door is also insulated. <laughs> um, around 10 degrees Celsius there. Yeah, so when I said I wanted this, it, this was before I realized that, oh shit, I, I might run out of money. But it was early stage. Uh, but 10 degrees, so, you know, I heard from Idehu is that just the garage door, because it's insulated, cost 50,000 nook, 5,000 euros for a freaking garage door. Oh <laughs> shit, you can build a whole regular garage for that price. But yeah, um, so, um, okay, EcoFlow is just gonna top up. Yeah, it's very nice to have it as backup. But uh, in the future, I have to travel with a leaf to, um, yeah, I'm just gonna stay inside here. It's too, outside is too windy and cold. But, um, I have to use leaf, for example, yeah, upcoming week now. Um, I'm gonna drive this leaf over to, uh, well, it's Urkang, yeah, to pick up uh, Kona. And that would be fine, as long as I start here with hot battery. Uh, I think prior to that one, I need to increase the temperature, uh, temporarily to maybe 20 degrees Celsius. Or actually, that might be a bit waste of energy. I think it, because then I need to heat up the whole garage. Maybe I can just have 10 degrees Celsius in the garage as like the base temperature, but then I could put just a, a fan heater under the car. And that would usually be very efficient to heat up only the battery area there. So maybe the battery, if the battery can start with around 20 degrees Celsius, that would be great, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but eventually we have to get rid of this one. And I can say that, uh, Moshkus, he's looking into a classic Ionic. He's gonna buy one, supposedly, and then I can borrow it. He's gonna put on some uh, Moshkus build stickers. He wants to do some chrome delete because, uh, uh, because uh, Moshkus is, is allergic to chrome. <laughs> and then I can then have a little life, life with um, classic Ionic. Yeah, so we'll see. But the adventure has just started. We are still not done. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to... Um, yeah, well, that's the thing. How the heck do you retrieve a GTX? It's at Arlenbrück. Uh, if I take public transportation, in, even in the daytime, it's going to take 
one and a half to two hours. Oh, that's the downside of living here. There is no bus stop yet, but there will be a bus stop coming uh, soon, uh, next summer or spring. There will be a bus stop just walking distance from here, and that will be way better. But for now, yes, it's a bit cumbersome. So, yeah, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I think I, instead of taking public transportation, wasting one and a half or two hours of my life, I'm just going to take a taxi. But it's going to cost me one testicle. But uh, wife is pregnant. I don't need the testicles anymore. So no problem. Good morning or rather good afternoon. It's snowing today. And now we're going to travel back to uh, Titutgrenda. Yeah, you probably know that. It was always Titutgrenda 3B. <laughs> and this one here, it's impossible to hide the location anyway. But yes, so I ordered a taxi and I requested to get um, an electric. Yeah, we got an x P7 Performance. Wait, what's wrong with the charge port? Okay, anyway, let's... Uh, which side do I enter? I think I enter this side, right? Well, we are now at Arnabru. This is a nice ride. Nice... Um, it's a bit unusual that I sit in the back here. Yeah, we have ambient light here. Oh yeah, yeah. how's the, the the meter? We are already at oh, 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 we are already at 920. That, that's around 90 euros for about half an hour drive. And then usually what happens once we stop, it just ding goes up a couple of hundred nook extra. <laughs> Welcome to Norway. We'll see by the end of the trip now how it's expensive. It's not gonna happen. Huh? It's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, it's not. Oh, it's not gonna happen. It's okay. Not gonna Oh, all right, all right. maybe there was another taxi company, but not this one. Welcome to Titutgranda, the ghetto, Alnabru, right near Alnabru Terminal, the Rus. Okay, it's freaking hail now. Shit, okay. So, the GTX has been sitting here, I've been preheating it. Uh, I forgot to bring the, 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 what do you call it, uh, you know, the broom. Okay, but uh, all right, let's get inside. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah. Welcome to Volkswagen. We are back home. Oh shit! It started uh, raining, and I haven't cleared the the what do you call it? Uh, what well, the parking lot here? So uh, it's going to be quite heavy snow. I need to clear it asap, so, and then soon it will also just melt, and then it becomes slushy all over the place. So oh, so yeah, the cars have finally. Oh no, no, let's see. Um, yeah. Finally, we're back here, and that means that uh, now that was the end of it. Uh, from now on, I have nothing else left at Titutgrenda uh, or Arnabru. Uh, everything has been moved here. So now we just have to start clearing up some stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, during the night, the leaf also charged up. So now I had to figure out which cars goes into the garage, which ones goes uh, outside. I think actually the trailer will stay outside. Yeah. Okay, but anyway. Uh, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.